what's up guys loose here so this video is me and my friend darren taking the core the radiator core support off and the wheel well so i had trouble getting it off yesterday so i needed some help uh got some help we actually got them both off so anyways uh, what you didn't see me do to my truck, I got a 1994 Sierra, uh, GMC SLE two-wheel drive. So what you didn't see me do is replace the hood, the fender. So I actually got the hood and the fender from this truck. So I need the bumper, but I don't think I'm going to take the bumper from this truck. It's not a truck, actually. It's a Suburban, the, the, the car that we're working on. It's a Suburban GMC. So I got the grill off it, the, the fender and the hood. So the bumper uh, is going to be coming off that Z71 that you'll see at the end of the video. And I'll try to show some pictures of the wreck too. So if you don't know, I got in a wreck. This car pulled in front of me. So I tried turning. I, by the time he pulled in front of me, I was already trying to go around him because he was turning to the right. And then, you know, he turned to the left last minute. So I was trying to go around him at the time. And then I couldn't, you know, avoid him, slow down or whatever. So and then we, went, we ended up hitting. So yeah. It messed my front end pretty bad. Like I said, I replaced the fender, the grill, and the hood. So now I just need, I'm taking that core support, the radiator core support off. And once I replace that, my light will be able to fit. It'll fit like, um, you'll see how it doesn't fit in the video. So yeah. So when I put the radiator core piece back in, when I replace it, the light will be able to fit through the grill that's on there. The grill actually came off this one, if I didn't say that already. So last thing I'll need to do is get that bumper from the Z71. Once I put the bumper on there, which will be the last thing, you won't be able to tell it was in a wreck like at all. So, and then I eventually want to paint it like really dark blue so i'm gonna take all the badges off it i already took the siding off it if you can't if you can't tell i took the siding off so i'm gonna take the gmc stickers off or whatever those uh emblems i'm gonna take everything out there's not gonna be anything on there it's just gonna be a, like just a plain truck right so and then i'm gonna end up tinting the windows i actually want to do redo the whole inside and then i need to get a stereo system not anything loud but just a good one you know what i mean right now there's a tape deck in there but yeah anyways um Yep, I'm gonna show some pictures at the end of the video. So, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe. Doing a giveaway at 200 subs, so you know, stay tuned for that. Turn notification bells on, all that stuff. So, thanks for watching. Man, I can get yeah, it from here. Okay. Yeah, I better get going. I can get the, I can try to get the bumper now. Alright, man. Alright, thanks, man. Yeah, tomorrow it's up to you. Alright. Yeah, alright. Thanks. What we were talking about here was a gardener snake. It wasn't actually a garter snake. It was a different type of snake. I forget what kind of snake he said it was. But they're actually poisonous, I guess. But it looked like a gardener snake because it was pretty small. I was looking in the hood and I barely seen it slither and it made me kind of jump back and all that. So it actually ended up crawling up towards the top of the hood. There's actually no hood, but it actually crawled up towards the top, you know? So I tried hitting it with uh, something like a stick, but then I got, I found a old antenna from the truck and then 
Guys, I got the antenna and then I whipped it right on the freaking top of the head and then it got knocked out and then like, you know, we thought it was dead. But after like 20 minutes, it like slithered away. We didn't see it slither away, but I mean, it could live for another day, I guess, to fight another day. So yeah, it's all good. It was, it was, it was pretty freaky though. But yeah, that's what we were talking about. What's up guys, Sleuth here. So I'm trying to get this core piece off. This. So my bumper will fit. My light will fit. And this will hook up. I'm taking the wheel well off too. I don't think I'm gonna use that bumper though. It's bent right on the bottom. But yeah, this is looking pretty good. This will allow my light to line up with my grill. And that wheel wheel ain't bad. It's gotta bump it out a little bit too. See how easy it bends. But yeah, anyways. So I'm trying to figure out what bolts right now to take off of the core piece and it takes three, can you see? That's where the, yeah, it takes three of those bolts right there. So I was trying to get that one. I was loosening on the first two, right? And then that one that the piece is on, like I took, started turning that one, and then my ear. So these little guys right here, crazy. And so look at me right there, see them? It's crazy, but yeah. Anyways, hopefully I get the bumper. Not from this one. Suburban, but there's one over there. Uh, there's one. You see that white truck right there. The bumper is like pretty raised. See how raised it is. So the bumper will be pretty easy to get. There's a nice suburban right there. That gray one too. So I think I might take that Z71 bumper though. If I have enough time, I got like two hours left. But yeah, just thought I'd get a shot of these little mofos. Look at that, man. Crazy, I felt them on my ear. 